the Daily Drama Podcast with Stephen Bradford, presented by DailyDrama.com. Um, hey, have we given out those black t-shirts yet? I'm not sure we have. No, we haven't. All right, so there so, might be there might be a day or two to get back. Make sure you're on the giveaway list at dailydrama.com slash giveaway. Steve, tell us about these shirts. Yeah, next week we're going to give them away. I guess we should do it on our next podcast. We can do idea. it live. That's fine. We'll do it um, live. Signed black T-shirts. Wow. I'm going to try to find some of mine. But that's what that, that, might that, be mine. Well, that's what I, I remember you saying. Yeah. Because, you know, it is spring cleaning time for many people. <laughs> it sure is. Um, Absolutely. I so, feel like you could you could stand apart with I someone. I could probably there. part with a couple of them. But right. either way, you'll get a signed, autographed black t-shirt. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, we wore our our our, our black shirts in uh celebration of it. So <laughs> you got yours. You got a Henley there? What's going on? I got a you? Henley, dude. I'm I I am becoming I'm simplifying my wardrobe. I found, mm, I I found some I found some Henleys from a a company that I wish will be I hope will be our sponsor someday. I talked to you about this company, and uh, they are inexpensive enough that like I can wear them all the time without thinking about like oh god I hope I don't get a stain on this. I hope I don't wear it out too sure, much because I want it sure. to last longer. I'll wear them out and then I'll get more. Absolutely, um, and it's a great layering thing. I just. I love not um, spending more brain space on that. And in in, I just, that's great. It's great. Uh, yeah. Literally, I wear the same things. I know. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like I have multiples of each thing. It's just why, I don't know, man. I just never really even have been into fashion, but I know people use it to express themselves, which is awesome. You had a but- great affliction phase. I did. And I, I will always cherish that time with you. I, it was an amazing, <laughs> that was an amazing port, I, in port, fact, port Chuck time. That's right. In fact, I was, I, I was at, I think I was in Palm, when it was when I was in Palm Springs, I was with some, I was behind somebody at the airport. I think it was at the airport and they were wearing affliction jeans. And I took a picture of some person's <laughs> lower, lower <But>. extremities. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because you wanted to go, hey, remember when you wore these, you dumbass? And sent it to you saying, thinking of you or something creepy like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I should have looked a little deeper into that picture and go, wait, what's going on here, buddy? That's um, funny. But but yeah, man, it's like, it's, you know, it's it's no secret. I mean, it, you know, we've all heard the the Steve Jobs story about, anyway. Anyway, so it, I'm, it's not like a, uh, it's not like a huge life choice. It's just a, uh, like, oh, I think, yeah, I, these are. I like wearing these and this might be useful. Hey, has Kira know? said anything? Uh, she's, she's mentioned that she likes the look of it. I, I haven't, okay. I haven't told, like, I haven't expressed to her any, like, um, like this is a, this is a choice. This is a statement. This is my, this is my uniform for the was, next yeah, 74 days. Cause I days. mean, it may or may not be. I'm just saying that like, as of right now, like I'm, I'm just kind of, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking too much about it. I'm just kind of going with sure. it. You know? Yeah. Good. Nice. So, that works. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. whatever. Um, yeah. Well, so yeah. it's been um, it's been six days, six six airing days. Well, today six is yeah, airing six days. airing days yeah. since uh, Jason reared his face like uh, Groundhog Day, but different. Um, and uh, and so I I thought it'd be kind of cool to, you know, we talked about your first day on set, but yes. we haven't talked about like the actual scene work because we couldn't right you know what i mean yeah um and obviously there there are still some questions to be answered so we're not going to answer those questions um but i i thought like because what occurred to me is you know in looking at the recaps and, and seeing some of the stuff you haven't had a lot of scenes with like you haven't had a lot of scenes yet with mainstay characters Correct. Correct. The first, the first person that you had seen work with that is, would be a regular was Dominic was Dante, right? Yeah. That was the first. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Dante first. Right. Obviously, you know, I was on the roof. I stopped the guy from shooting Sonny. Me and I can't remember his name now. I thought it'd begin with an H, whatever it was. That guy, that good looking guy with the salt and pepper hair. 
Yeah. So we, we got caught on the pier with Dante. Um, right. Everybody saw that. That was cool. Yeah. You know, I got to shoot the guy, which was awesome. And he shot me. Oh. A lot of people didn't know I got shot um, from when I was reading comments. Well, they were like, wait, he got shot. What happened? Well, because nothing hurts Jason. So he didn't even feel it. He didn't even know. Yeah, you later. know, you don't really feel it. You Just know, caught up in so, the so many times. You never adrenaline. feel it anymore. Well, his skin is like rubber. So like, it's crazy that it even penetrated it. That's yeah. that's true. Yeah. But it went right through. So that's why I guess I didn't feel it. There was an exit wound. So, oh, like down, like, yeah, went through, right. went through your, uh, your, uh, it wasn't just stuck in there or I would have been dead. Well, and it's a good we thing. You don't, had... don't want to go down that road again. It's a good thing. You have, have a little bit of a love handle. Otherwise it would have like hit the bone. Maybe that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those scenes were cool with Dom, you know, yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was cool. Um, how was it seeing him? I mean, was, was, it was the, great. Well, was there a lot of laughter like the old days? Uh, we had some laughs, but we tried, you know, I tried not to. Sure. You know, it was, uh, you know, I'm just trying to stay super focused Yeah. and not, you know, I'll crack a joke every now and then, but I'm really here to, I'm here to work. Uh, I'm here to work. Yeah. I'm here to work. Yeah. So, so that was cool. Those scenes were cool. And then really it was the next ones were with, uh, Carly. Right. But that was days later, wasn't it? That was Friday. It was, it was day. Yeah. It was days later. I so mean, what, what that, did you that hold the shootout and the getting shot and that took a few, then, couple few and then, yeah. And then, you know, um, <clears throat> that took a couple, uh, days and then, and then really seeing Carly for the first time, you know? Right. Cause you went, you needed her help cause she used to be a nurse. So she knows how to stitch. Is that accurate? Yeah, I just, that was the, well, I wouldn't say that's accurate. That she knows um, how to stitch or that she that used to be a nurse. She was or... a nurse. I, I don't know. Was she a nurse? I thought she was <laughs> at some point. I know, I know Bobby was a nurse. Right. So. I th but I, I, for some reason I thought Carly had nursing skills, even though that may be in her past. Um, yeah. Anyway, but, but yeah, so I went there because obviously, you know, it was safe and I thought it was safe and right. I saw Carly. So that, that was cool. I mean, everybody was talking about that stuff. Yeah. That her, was, so. that was highly, that that was beautiful work, but, and I mean, like so much of like, can you talk to how much of the, the, like the, the real world situation played into the emotions of the on-screen situation? Do you know what I'm saying? It's like part of it. Yeah. Is, yeah. Part of, of it like is they're congruent a little bit. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, yeah. Look, we, we've always worked well together. Um, there's always been a trust there. Right. Uh, emotionally. So it wasn't, it wasn't really difficult to, to kind of slip back in to that. Um, you know, it was interesting because, because of the lighting that originally they wanted to do it. They wanted to do a hiccup. Right. Where, like which part of the scene was being separated? Be, well, because, um, originally they wanted to shoot because I was near the doors, the patio doors, and they wanted to shoot through the doors, right? Where they couldn't necessarily get her because she was up on the stairs. Sure. So it was just this weird angle where she was like, oh, um, can we shoot through the doors? And then do you guys mind doing a hiccup? I'm like, man, oh, this is, this is yeah. like. Explain what a hiccup up, is. Yeah. Yeah. A, hic a hiccup is when they stop basically tape. Right. And then they close the door and then move the camera back in or, or open the door and move the camera back out, whatever. Right. It is. It, it's a, it's a, it's a part of a scene where they can't naturally progress the scene because they need to make a technical shift. So they Correct. have to stop, make that shift and then continue. But it, 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 you know, interrupts your momentum. Yeah. And, and it's tough when it is emotional. Um, for me, especially, uh, you know, Laura's better at it. Mora's better at it. <laughs> Vanola's way better at it where, you know, they could, they can get emotional or cry. Right. Uh, if that's what you're going for. Right, yeah. If that's what you're going for multiple times, if it's highly right. emotional, they can just kind of wipe their tears and do it again. Right. But for me, it's such a, like a lot of times if, if the tears come and then, then it's like, then it's almost a whole reboot I have to do. So, right. I, I was grateful that they were able to make adjustments where we could just shoot at one time. Sure. And it was one take. That's and great. That was it.
And that was and it. it was great. Yeah. Isn't that isn't that interesting? Like, because I, I I know what you mean, and in terms of being able, to, you we can get there. We can get there. Sure. But like keeping it, keeping it in a place where we can dip back in and dip back in and dip back in. That's challenging. And I wonder, I wonder, this is, this is just spitballing here. Mm -hmm. Since we maybe in our lives don't bring, don't let that in when we let it out, it is something escaping us versus something that we invite. Do you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 uh, I'm just, do you, do you, do you kind of get where I, I'm going I with this? I understand. Yeah, like, I understand. I'm not saying that we suppress those feelings in our daily life, but we don't live, think, we don't live people with, do. We don't live with them at the, at, at, at the, at the, uh, at the, you know, at the level all the time. And so when we bring them sure. up, who knows what we, we may not know exactly what's coming up because we're, we haven't always, we're not living with it right near the surface. So when sure. it, when it escapes, it's hard. It's hard to, it's, it's a release. It's a release. Sure. That's exactly right. Yeah. 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 I think it's interesting. That's an interesting point. Like it depends on where you are in your life's journey for sure. how you learn to handle emotional things or stuff down or expression and all these things. But as, as you know, I guess an artist and actor and what we do right. have to be, they have, it has to be readily available or you have to tap into those things that you don't want to do. Like we talked about with Chad right. last week, Yeah, you know? Um, but for me, it's just, once it's out, it's very difficult to want to go back, visit the pain point again. Sure. And your body's like, dude, what are you doing? Right. Why would you do this again? Right. You just did it. Right. You're free. <laughs> right. But you're not because you right. got to do another take. And that's why, that's why film actors well, and, and stage actors who have to, especially stage people, right? right. Stage actors have to have, have to this, do it. Yeah. Every, if they're doing seven, eight epi or episodes, right. seven, eight shows a week. Yeah. A, performance a week. A week. I don't even know. Well, cause you're I, responding to the same source material. Yeah. I don't even know. Having to do it in a fresh I, way. I mean, yeah. Well, but no, I like curious about when, what was the, I mean, obviously what came up for you naturally is a different thing. What was the story? What were, were those looks? Was it like, oh my God, happiness that they're alive, like happy cry or sad that I've missed you sad? Like what, yeah, you know what, yeah. so, what was those, yeah, the, yeah. the emotional story of that? That's a good question. So obviously it's holy happy, crap. Holy, holy crap. crap. Yeah. Um, but it was also for Jason that he couldn't contact anyone he loved. Right. He, and he was I right. guess, so, so alone. He, right. And so maybe he feel like, I, I don't mean to speak for you, but like feeling guilty that he wasn't able to tell her that she, he was alive. Well, all that well stuff. Th th I mean, there's, there's, there, there's probably, maybe that will be more of it, but I think yeah. it's more of like, Where's this guy been? What's he been doing? Right. He hasn't had any contact with family. He doesn't right. really know what's happening. He's alone. Right. Doing what he has to do. Right. For everybody he loves. Right. And, you know, so there were a lot of different emotions, you know, when I was talking to the head writer about it too. Yeah. So, you know, just, just uh, really coming from where he's been in the right. last two years and all the things that have happened. Right. Which people will find out. Right. Right. I, the, the peeling so, of the onion is going to be cool because yeah, people, are, people cool. are making a lot of assumptions about things that they've seen, which I think is probably on purpose. Like, you know, they're, sure. they're, they're trying to make this, um, 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 you know, more complex than just bam, here you go. Like it, it is a, yeah, there's, there's layers to this for sure. Right. Which is a lot. Awesome. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, well, because I, you know, I, I just saw I, on, I guess, social media, just the, that, that look that you guys held. Um, and uh, it was just interesting to think about, like, obviously what happens for you naturally versus what story you're trying to tell, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, and I so, think it's a combination of both of those things. Absolutely. You know, for sure. 
in the moment. Well, and that's the, that's the thing too. I remember when, you know, the last, the last time this kind of scenario happened where I Spinelli saw you for the first time, sure. I remember, I remember like, you don't want to like you, even at that point, you and I had been talking on a regular basis. So it's not like it was Bradford's first time seeing Steve in some time, sure. but at the same time, I, you know, in my head, I'd created this thing where seeing you as kind of like a wedding day, but not quite a wedding day. I didn't want to see you in the leather jacket until I saw you in the leather jacket. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, and yeah. And like I hiccup would have been challenging. So like, I, I, you like, you want to keep whatever you can use. 100%. Yeah. Right. We want to use, um, yeah. and, and yeah. And I don't even know, like if the audience would really even know. Sure. If, if it was really, you know, obviously I saw Laura before the scenes. Of course. Yeah. Right. So right. it wasn't like that. Right. Our reunion wasn't that. Right. But you can kind of in your head. Right. You, right. Like you see but her. You as, can, but you can separate it and yes. go, hey, this is Jason and Carly seeing each other for the first time. Right. You know, but um, I mean, there's no there's no perfect world where that would kind of ever happen. No, no, where, no. You're not going to sequester like, yourself. Hey, yeah, yeah. You yeah. stay on that side of the building. <laughs> she's over. You guys can't see each other until you get on camera. You know what I mean? So that's just never. Yeah. That's, that's um, just not how it works. We're actors and we're supposed to be able to just bring it. Totally. Yeah. But an interesting thing happened in that scene where you learn, <clears throat> you learned about, uh, about Bobby's passing mm. and yeah. I, I saw on, I, it just occurred to me that that's going to happen again sometime, right? He's got to learn about other characters, other people, that, yeah. other people that have passed and therefore their characters. I'm thinking of Sonia, of course. And, yeah. um, and like, <laughs> who, who I know, I know, and Brit. Oh, and Brit, right? Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah. I forgot that. Obviously, in my head, Kelly left the show. I forgot the story behind it. Sure. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm gonna learn a lot. <laughs> Being back. Woo. Um, so, if it's you, a lot of layers to this thing. If you want me to really get cool. like a um one of those dolls that you can prick and hopefully, so like if you need help crying on all your things, I can, um, <laughs> cause you're going to, sounds like you're going to be crying a lot. I'll be, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. <laughs> I'll be ready for him. So yeah, we had, so we had great scenes there. Um, and then, you know, Anna. And right. You saw Finola. F yep. Finola. And then FBI, John Cates, uh, Jagger. Yeah. Comes, uh, come, comes looking for me. And then I take off and then they, they end up catching me on the bridge. Right. They, they corner right. you or not corner you, but we're trapped me, whatever. Trapped, yeah. yeah. And then, and I jump over the bridge. I think that's the same bridge. I don't know if that's the same bridge that, uh, all the action happens that, that Sonny and, and Julian fell off. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, I, I mean, wait, no, no, I don't think it is because because they were at a bus station. They we were at a bus station, and they I think that was in Jersey somewhere, and that was a different bridge. So, woo! I'm I'm not getting confused, but I did jump over the bridge. I did jump right. off the bridge. Is that the footbridge, like the romantic footbridge? That's and all... the footbridge. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's um, the footbridge. How was that yeah. jump? I mean, how like? I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, you know, they put probably a nothing. It's not that high, dude. It was six inch. It's like a six-inch six inch mat or something you just jump onto. Yeah. Right. Right. So, you know, you can practice it, but you, when it when it comes, you just do it. And they, you know, they they put a um. It sounded like they put a gunshot sound effect. You know in, what? Somebody in, else said that to me on the. They go, on, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know you were shot at. And did, I go, I don't. They didn't. Did they? Because they didn't I, see any non guns. I well, didn't I, know. Right, and I also I didn't see. The, camera try to capture that so it didn't sound like a splash it wasn't a splash i heard a splash too but it sounded like they added because i i didn't see in the you know if really? they, if, they, if there was a gunshot that meant to be part of the story they would have captured it on camera and do you know what i'm didn't. saying and they didn't i that that i could see yeah 
but they added a sound effect. And I guess they might have just been like, oh, they that would have been a natural thing for the police to do to shoot at him. I don't know. I don't know. Cause they I, wanted to, well, cause I don't th- cause somebody else said that to me. I go, why would I said, Ain is not going to shoot at me. Right. Right. Um, so anyway, the but, FBI could shoot at me, sure, but sure. they're not going to shoot. I, I, I mean, I, I just don't, they want to bring you in. It seems like it doesn't. Like, yeah. Um, so I probably more valuable alive than dead to them. Right. So, um, yeah, so it was interesting, but, uh, the gunshot that you were, you know, suffering from as you went into the quarter main boathouse was not a yes. new one. It was this. It was the same one. Correct. Yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, but in theory, Carly has sewn you up well enough that you should heal. Well, I can't tell. I can't say yet. Okay. What's happening? Okay. So, great. Stay tuned on that one. All right. I mean. We're almost That's... had a spoiler alert there. We don't want to do that, do we? Well, I was setting up the, I was setting up the, like, <clears throat> I mean, it would be pretty funny if they brought you back to die six days later. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but Spoiler alert, by the way. Okay. Because there's, you know, like now that I'm back. Yeah. Facebook, all these, all these GH fan groups or whatever. I obviously they're going for clickbait. Okay. Oh, sure. Because nothing they're posting is even remotely true. I, I, I concur. I've seen a bunch and been like, I don't think that's it. So we should dispel those on here. Oh, good times. Because if they want the truth, because people are literally arguing in the comments. Right. One, one over things that are unknowable. Well, Unless they said they're... that that they said that I only signed a three month contract. Oh, <laughs> and then I'm dying. Oh, who okay. said that? Someone in the comments or someone? No, so one that was one of the posts. Oh. was that it was only a three month contract and I'm dying. So hey, guess what? That's not true. It's a two year contract. Great, and I'm not dying. Huzzah! You heard it here first. You heard it here Daily first. Drama.com. That's there right. That's right. Um. Well, it's been a great, it's been a great week, man. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I passed out in the boathouse. And now we'll see what happens. Now it's going to get interesting. The quarter main boathouse. So back at the quarter mains, baby. I love it. I love it. Where it yeah, all began. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, where it all began, dude. I remember doing scenes as a T as a, you know, in my early twenties as Jason quarter main in that boathouse and uh, outside of the boathouse. It's is it crazy. the same? Is it the same set? It was pretty I'm close. Sh- yeah. I'm sure I mean, it's been, I'm sure it's been updated, but yeah, it's been updated, but yeah, I mean, AJ, me, Jason and AJ, I think we had parties down there or something at the nice. boathouse. Nice. Drinking old Milwaukee I, in the boathouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get some three, two beer down there. I don't know. <laughs> So. Amazing. Well, uh, another reminder to get on the giveaway list at dailydrama.com slash giveaway. We'll be, Steve's going to be donating some, uh, well-worn. Yeah. Black and t-shirts. what's cool, man, is, is now that we're doing this, well, we're still doing this, but that I'm back. It's cool to be able to talk about this stuff. So I know, I know. Um, yeah, it's cool. It, you know, not that we ever have a, a dearth of things to talk about, but, um, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, but next week's a lot of great scenes. So yeah. Yeah. I'm looking so, forward to it. you know, if, if, if you came, first came to our podcast for talk about general hospital, um, guess what? We can do it again. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. It's awesome. So, all right. Thanks for listening, everybody. Um, we appreciate you as always. You guys are awesome. <laughs>